Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have for you another K-pop unboxing video. We have three albums today. We have Tan's My Voice Repackage, Lay from EXO, his second album, Sheep, and then EXO's second mini album, Overdose. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with Tan. Move these out of the way. Cool. Let's go. Alrighty. I love the aesthetic of this album. I love this pretty pink that she has going on. I know. Whoops. So like I said, this is her first album. Oh, there's the CD. That's nice. Pink. I think Tiffany might have helped with the concept of this album with all the pink. There's the track list. Oops, there he is. Cool. I have always been a big fan of Girls Generation. I've been a fan since about 2010-ish. Um, yeah, and I love, I still love all nine girls. To me, Girls' Generation will always be nine. Ah, okay. Sorry, I scoops. Okay, I'm just going to move him out of the way. Um, and I've loved Tan's solo stuff. Oh, what's that? Yeah. So pretty. Look at this. I love this. This feels, <laughs> feels, um, I love the song Feels So Fine. I like her vocals on that. Um, this album just screams like spring vibes to me and I think that's when it came out, late winter and early spring stuff. I'm actually surprised SM didn't promote the song I Got Love that was like the teaser song for the album and then uh fine was the one that they promoted i kind of wanted to see i got love on the live stages i thought that would have been really interesting to see it was a very interesting sound than what we normally get from girls generation so so pretty look at just she's so pretty she's like that i love all of these pictures that we've got going on So pretty. I really loved her vocals in all of these songs. Just to prove that she was a vocal queen. Her live stages for Fine are absolutely astonishing. Love them so much. Just proves that she is definitely one of the queens K-pop. Wait, does that hair remind anybody else of like the 80s? Is anybody else getting 80s vibes from this? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting 80s vibes from that hair. And the green. Oh, beautiful. I loved this album. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good album. And Fine is such an emotional song that I wasn't really expecting it back. Because there's not too many emotional songs in K-pop, so it's very different from what we normally hear. And that's the end on the edge of the back. So there's that. And here's the photo card from the back. I love her signature. It looks so cute. I love that it's like in the shape of a butterfly. So pretty. So that's Tan's, ah, don't, we're not gonna make this a thing where it falls every time. We were very good last time. We're not gonna do that again. I have faith that everything will stay, okay, I can't do this. In balance, nothing will fall over. I have faith. Okay. 
So for those of you who don't know, I'm a big fan of EXO. This is probably one of my fa- oh, if I can open- oh, come on. Okay, another fun fact, I can't open things, like, at all, whatsoever. Aha, uh -huh. hold on. I can feel it coming up. I- oh, and you guys can't see this off camera, but I'm struggling with this box. I hate this kind of packaging. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Stay in. Oh, it's asleep. Oh, dear, it's broken. Well, I can fix that later. So that's just gonna stay there. Oh, there we go. The food's too killer. And stuff that we don't need. I'm opening this up, so it's upside down. Okay. I do miss Ot 12 of EXO and Ot 9 of Girls' Generation. Man, this was definitely an interesting comeback. I thought the dance for the overdose was a very interesting dance. Especially when the members that were like standing on top of each other while one was on the floor, that would be really difficult. Props to them. I don't think, I know I wouldn't be able to do that. This just also brings back of when Chanyeol was on Roommate. If you guys watched that, let me know. That was an interesting thing to watch as well. There's that, in this stupid box. Literally, my least favorite packaging is when they make these boxes. Can I just please have, like, a normal, like, book-shaped album, please, for my own sanity? Okay, and the last one we have is Lay's second album, Sheep. But this is also kind of holographic if I can get it to go. Oop, sheep, Lay, Sheep, Lay. Lovely. Come on. Okay. Now this is a monster of an album, so I don't know if I'm gonna go through every single page. Because this thing is huge, and this video is already eight minutes long, and I don't know, I can't make, bring myself to make like an hour, half an hour, I don't know, I actually had a lot more uh, albums to show you, but like I said, I can't make myself do an hour long K-pop haul. Maybe one of these days, but certainly not right now. Look at that, that's amazing. This is definitely one of the biggest ones I've seen. I showed sheep to my mom. My mom really likes the animal sheep and so she really liked <laughs> this video, which, uh, the music video, which I think is really cute. Oh, there's some stuff. Nice candid picture. I mean, just the, the amount of pictures in here is just a Astonishing. I'm trying to flip through this because I am not trying to make a long video for you guys. Oh, that is, it would just be too long. Look at that. That is amazing. Sunset picture. Credits. Sheep. And this would be the album. If I could pick up the book. Nice and simple, and sometimes that's always the best way to go. So there's that. Then we got a $10 sheet bill.
cool. So there's that. That is all I have for you guys today, and I will see you tomorrow with another video, and have a great day. Bye!